Alicia, great job on off the cuff because you had to have all of these somewhat prepared prior to today. And I think you signed up yesterday? No, this morning. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So for very, very, very last minute preparation, you did amazing. Let's start at the top. How effectively did the speaker organize his or her ideas? You did you did okay. You started with the five years ago, and then you talked about uh, three years ago and one year ago and the future, what you want to do for this year. What pattern or patterns were used? You used words and phrases like change, holidays equal change, uh, change for the better, uh, memories, traditions. So you used words and phrases throughout, which helped keep everything together. Did he, did she present a clear and definite message? Um, yes, like I said, holidays equal change, change for the better. And how you want to create new traditions for your family and giving us an example of the, the Santa's mailbox was a very cute um, tradition that you're starting with your, with your family and that you will be able to have those memories every year. How well did the speaker draw upon his or her background and professional knowledge? Well, you talked about uh, your resolution last year, you talked about your resolution this year, the lunch and learn that was yesterday that you were able to learn about SMART goals and try to get your resolution as a SMART resolution this year. And also your experiences prior to um, your prior tradition or your prior holiday memories that you have that are good and not so good. How did the speaker let the audience know that he or she was knowledgeable in the area? I think that that kind of talks about the other sentence as well. You gave you know lots of examples of your your holidays that had in the past. Did the speaker convey confidence in his or her authority? Yes, I think that you spoke with confidence up here. You didn't stumble on your words. You did. You had great eye contact with everybody. You used your hands appropriately to um, to make a point. Did the speaker base his or her facts, her statements on fact or opinion? Um, both. I think you had facts and opinion in there. I think that um, it was a good combination of both of them. What was the audience reaction? Well, I think there, I was in the front, so I couldn't see the reaction. <laughs> but I know that everybody was listening. And I think that in the beginning, by opening up and saying five years ago, you and your husband almost got a divorce. I think that that touched everybody and it made people listen right from the beginning. And then you talked about um, different ways that you're trying to change that memory into being a positive one. And I think that everybody can relate to making good memories and traditions with their family. So, great job. And amazing. <laughs>